All right, we're live. I'm here in Ohio with some teachers that I've been working with this morning. And right before lunch, we're going to have some reflection time. And so teachers on their iPads have gone to tonyv.me slash reflect, or they've scanned this QR code, and they have drawn from that link a reflection question to get them thinking about what they've learned this morning. And we've, we've learned quite a bit. So I should have asked this to the group before I turn around. Does anybody object to being on camera? If you happen to be panned across. All right. <laughs> so here's here's the group here at OSU. You know, this group of supermodel teachers all learning stuff this morning. So we'll come to uh, Tony first. Tony, can, let's see the question that you drew. Here is my question. What resources did you use to learn? Which ones were especially helpful? And which ones would you use again? Wow, that's a, you got three questions in a question here. Yeah. All right, so tell us uh, how you'd answer that. Um, first of all, I'd start by saying what resources I learned today. I use, I mean, I learned about Chirp, Post-it Plus, and Flipboard. I think for me, the one that I just was, got this like light bulb going on in my head was Flipboard because I realized that all of a sudden in terms of doing research in language arts, this is my tool. This is what I'm going to start with because, um, it just takes all the legwork out of using databases and now I can just cut out some of the steps that students get so bogged down with. Mm -hmm. And so this is what I'm going to start using day one for research. All right. And part of what we're doing today, too, besides reflecting, is learning a little bit about Periscope. And one of the things is you get to choose if your comments are open to everyone or not. And so when, when uh, regular internet trolls come in, they sometimes comments on there and so I'm trying to block them as I go through but otherwise here we'll give uh, I'll let you see what a lot of hearts here so thank you for your reflection uh, there uh, yeah red hearts. <laughs> oh uh, we just talked about the brown hearts yeah. here today too <laughs> no, 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 I'm those. <laughs> Solved. Uh, what uh, question did you end up drawing here how does what you learn connect with what you already knew ah that's a great question yeah. <laughs> All right. So what I did was I was thinking about Twitter. I've used Twitter since I was in high school, but mostly for social. Once I got into college, I used Twitter, and I started to follow hashtags on an educational level. And now I'm using what I learned with Flipboard to tie everything in together. And I can follow a bunch of different hashtags on Flipboard and use it as a resource. And then I've already started adding things to my magazine on Flipboard for EdTech and things I can use later. It's nice because you can go real fast. So I use what I learned with Twitter, or I already knew with Twitter, and what I learned today about Flipboard. All right, so tell us, the, the, it was my number one trick with Flipboard. How can you put in a bunch of hashtags and make one magazine out of it? So you have to put the hashtag, whatever you're hashtagging, space, capital, O-R, or, and then you just keep doing that with all the different hashtags that you want. How many hashtags did you end up putting in your, in your search string? I think the first one was six. Yeah, so the, the Flipboard was really popular because everybody today really wanted ideas they could take later. So we set up our Flipboards to have a lot of educational hashtags. The the random reflection question for people just joining us uh, is at tonyv.me slash reflect. And it's an HTML page I set up that ha draws from about 30 different questions. Anybody else want to uh, tell us what you've learned this morning? That my my Apple Watch is beeping at me, um, telling me that it's time for lunch. So, uh, <laughs> the, oh, it's pouring rain there. It's been a nice day, except for the goose poop, <laughs> which is everywhere around campus, and it's green and um, <laughs> somebody had their volume on. And yeah, it, it is everywhere. Well, anyway, um, thanks for for joining us and helping us uh, demo Periscope and helping us learn and. Uh, we didn't give Saul. We didn't give you hearts. So that's that's the part we need to. Do we have seventy people watching? So let's see if they can give you some hearts here. <laughs> oh, from Ar Arizona. Oh, Sarah from Arizona's there. Oh, that's cool. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs>